Hey everyone, my name is Leila and today we are going to talk about the white flowers and I will be talking about the fragrances that have the main accord of white flowers. Uh, I wasn't a big fan of white flowers um, in my younger age, but when I started the journey, my factory journey, um, I started uh, appreciating them more and more and the first fragrance that helped me to appreciate and fall in love with white flowers was quite a cheapy one and um, this is from Trusardi and it's Donna. It's quite a famous fragrance and many people know about that. Uh, it's nice um, white flower creamy fragrance with a top notes of uh, yuzu and this yuzu uh, being a fruit fruit accord gives to the jasmine some sort of uniqueness because because of this yuzu this fragrance smells quite unusual to me and very unique and stands out from other white flowers it's quite creamy some sort of exotic and tropical uh, summer fragrance for me um, because I can't imagine this on a colder months for me this is a typical beach type of fragrance that I enjoy when I go to um, to some hotels I mean to just to relax and have some rest uh, somewhere on the on the seaside on the beach this is that sort of fragrance it's quite feminine at the same time it's a crowd pleaser people do compliments when they smell this especially men so it's a nice one being a cheapy one this is definitely a very nice fragrance of good quality and the fragrance that is um, have the similar vibes um, is the fragrance from um, Dear Rose uh, or Rose and Rose, I think the brand was renamed, and this is an Nymphescence. It also uh, is a white flower type of fragrance, and the main um, note, the main accord here is Magnolia. However, this is um, not a um, tropical type of fragrance it's more cold and refreshing type of fragrance i think the bottle and the color of the juice suits this fragrance a lot because it feels like mm, this is if, if the magnolia could be a water magnolia this is definitely the that sort of magnolias they they grow in water because the whole fragrance is quite watery it's not aquatic um, in um, any kind no Definitely, but it has some coldness and freshness that reminds me reminds me of water. Definitely, cold water, and it feels like when you spray this fragrance, it's like if you're diving in that cold lake uh, filled with this white um, uh, water magnolias. So very beautiful. At the same time, being such a fresh one, it's quite long-lasting. This is a niche fragrance. I bought it online for a very affordable price. And if you can find it, I definitely recommend this very good fragrance for spring and summer for a hot weather. The next fragrance that also gives me the tropical vibes is from the local brand from UAE. And this is a Tar collection and the fragrance is called Azora. It's a beautiful um, oriental bottle, as you may see. Um, this fragrance is also very tropical to me because it has lots of white flowers, but those flowers are not like tuberose or gardenia or jasmine. No, definitely. To me, this is like uh, frangipani, tiare, so uh, tropical flowers. Uh, they are white, but they are definitely tropical. And it has lots of peach uh, notes on the top. And this is like, to me, this smells a bit creamy and reminds me of the peach. Uh, peachy, peachy yogurt. Uh, it's at the same time it's not too sweet but it has definitely some sweetness like a flower sweetness, the floral sweetness and altogether this fragrance reminds me of like the picture that I have in front of my eyes is a beautiful young um, lady uh, who has a perfect tan is um, sitting somewhere on the very expensive five-star spa hotel somewhere in Asia, maybe in Thailand or maybe even in Dubai. And she's sipping a very cold, refreshing peachy cocktail um, somewhere in a beautiful cabana or uh, I don't know. So she enjoys this life. She's very young 
and she knows that everything is just perfect and it will be even better. It's such a relaxing and at the same time glamorous type of fragrance that definitely gives me those vibes. And it smells like, um, it gives me the vibes of the, again, the, some very luxurious spa or hotels. So nice one, very good longevity, nice sillage, not um, overly potent or something like that. No, it's quite nice and very pleasant. By the way, this fragrance is uh, compared to um, Ex Nihile's Fleur Narcotique. Uh, I can't say for 100% that they are similar. Many people say that they have similar vibes. Probably yes, uh, but this one is much cheaper than the that one. So if you like Fleur Narcotique, the most probably you might also like this one. Another fragrance that gives me the holiday vibes is from Acqua di Parma and this is Magnolia Nobile and this fragrance is all about magnolias, white magnolias. I know magnolias are not always white, sometimes they are pink, but this um, accord is definitely a white flower, white magnolia accord mixed with lots and lots of typical Acqua di Parma's juicy, sparkly, uh, zesty citruses. And this is a great combination of this semi sweet um, notes of flower uh, of the, the floral notes the notes of uh, magnolia mixed with the sourness of the citruses it's it's done perfectly to my taste and i can see this fragrance easily for every day for daily use for example the previous ones the azora and the uh, donna from tusardi for me those fragrances are particular for particularly for beach, for, you know, having a rest somewhere on the seaside on the beach. This one, not necessarily. I can, I think it's, this one is more versatile. You can wear it both in the downtown of the city, uh, like a urban type of fragrance, and also uh, like a holiday type of uh, fragrance. So quite a versatile type. Um, nice sillage nice longevity everything is there i thought this fragrance was discontinued but no it is not it can still it's still available online the next fragrance is a cheapy but a nice one and um this one is from roberto cavalli and this one paradiso assoluto this is a flanker of the paradiso fragrance that i showed already uh, this fragrance is also fresh and long lasting but at the same time it's a bit sweet and a bit spicy because it also has the note of jasmine in the middle it has note of lily uh, it's mentioned in the fragrantica that it's a red lily however uh, i don't smell anything red related to the flowers to me this is a white flowers bouquet uh, mixed with a little bit of citruses on the top and lots of pink pepper if you don't like pink pepper don't even try this one because it has quite a lot of pink pepper i adore pink pepper and in the base it has a bit of vanilla it has i think some wooden notes probably sandal or something like that so it's nice one it has a little bit of everything some freshness it has some um, spiciness a bit of sweetness and all this makes this fragrance very versatile and you can wear it all year round so um i i can even wear this during summer summertime here now we have 35 plus degrees celsius and i can still wear this fragrance with no problems when i run some errands when i take kids to the sports i mean everywhere this is a very versatile and nice quite a typical one i could say it's generic but very pleasant to my nose and to the nose of other people um, uh, designers fragrance for a very very good price uh, with a very very good longevity and sillage so I bought this online for about 20 bucks I think it's perfect the next three fragrances will be about orange blossom and the first one that I rediscovered this summer I mean the spring however we have summer already in here in Dubai uh, it's um, a fragrance from Elisab and this is Le Parfum uh, intense this is an intense version so it's quite a potent and strong however to my taste now when outside is 30, 35 plus this fragrance is gorgeous the um, 
orange blossom smells gorgeous it's quite fresh it's a bit soapy a bit it has some shampoo nuance and I like it I like it even more um, when I you know when I sprayed this and tried this during the colder months this was very sweet and honeyed type of um, white flowers and now when it's hot it's less sweet it's less honeyed and more fresh and more soapy that I really like and it doesn't feel heavy at all to me um, because maybe because it's hot and all the fragrances are evaporated quite fast that's why I can't say that this chokes me or it annoys me or it's too loud not at all and from this point of view I understand why local people wear such a heavy ouds and you know woods and ambers and roses during this hot weather just because it's it gets evaporated so fast you can't even you know uh, appreciate the fragrance you can't even smell it within the hour you know it, it really it really does they really evaporate very very fast I experienced this myself the next fragrance is also something that I like to wear um, during the hot summer season um, and this is from Jean Paul Gaultier this one is called classic essence this is like the essence version of the uh, classic fragrance and this one is also all about fleur d'orange all about the orange blossom it mixed with um, tangerines on the top aldehydes that give this fragrance a little bit of coldness and tangerines also give some juiciness and citrus accord and um, as a result of freshness to this fleur, fleur d'orange to this orange blossom and also in the base it has some creamy whipped cream um, note but at the same time having that note and some sweetness to this fragrance it doesn't smell gourmand to me and when this the fragrance starts um, being a gourmand when it touches that territory I can't wear it during the hot summer season but this one is definitely not gourmand as well as the previous one from Elisa that's why they are very pleasant for me during the summer hot weather let's say I was wearing this one yesterday and I enjoyed it I was outside I was inside the car everything was perfect it didn't choke me it didn't you know cause any headache nothing it was perfect amazing very beautiful and people say that this is more evening type of fragrance um, like for, for the date or for the going out I can easily see this as an everyday fragrance if you don't overspray that can be easily an everyday you know fragrance which is really really beautiful yes it's sweet but not sickly sweet it's not syrupy sweet but the next fragrance from uh, Parfums de Marly uh, is to me too sweet yes it's also about orange blossom it also has citruses but this is too sweet for me this is Safanade from Parfums de Marly and I have this small tester and this fragrance is also beautiful very beautiful gorgeous fragrance it's um, a mixture of orange blossom with pear pear notes with the citruses um, it also has a vanilla I think and tonka beans uh, in the base but this fragrance is typical gourmand type of you know fragrance for me and I see this mostly on uh, fall winter time um, this fragrance is very easy to like and crowd pleaser as well Wait, let's say when I tried this on my skin my son smelled this on me and he said I also want this one just spray it on me as well it's so yummy it definitely is yummy because it is really really sweet because the pear juice it's not like a, a juice the, the pear accord there it's not a juice it's more um, syrup to me it's like the pear syrup um, so or the pear jam probably and the, the, there is a lot of vanilla so it's mouth watering sweet type of gourmand fragrance I like it however having uh, two more uh, fragrances about uh, orange blossom which I really really like and the price for this this fragrance is quite I would say it's not affordable for sure and it's not that unique so you are ready to pay that much 
um, that's why I'm not going to buy this uh, in a full bottle so um, but still this is a really really nice one so if you see it on a very 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 good price probably you can consider however I need to warn you it doesn't have a good longevity and sillage it's quite close uh, to your skin and um, it doesn't last more than three hours probably two to three hours maximum and for that price you expect something more since we started talking about perfumes de Marie, let's continue and the next one is Sudbury and this one is already in full bottle and I think it's worth all the price it's a beautiful beautiful tuberose Chypre uh, classical type of fragrance um, and this tuberose is very close to me it's very it's, it's my tuberose you know I love this type of tuberose because it's not sweet not cloying not too loud um, it's not the type of tuberose that you can smell in Michael Kors, Michael Kors, that tuberose is a killer. Uh, this one is completely different. It's very polite um, type of tuberose that is mixed with uh, iris and became more powdery. Uh, it's quite feminine, but at the same time, it has some darkness underneath. In the base, it has the oakmos, which makes it a bit mysterious and at the same time, a bit cold and it helps you to keep distance with people. I think this is perfect fragrance for office however it's quite potent and loud so be careful when you spray especially if you go to uh, to the office and you sit in a you know, closed area so be careful with uh, over spraying nice one long lasting everything is there siash is beautiful um, I mean if you like classical type of fragrances this is definitely for you just give it a try and you'll fall in love with it like I did. The next fragrance that I um, bought after I fell in love with this type of tuberose, I decided to try the tuberose from Elisab, um, the boutique line, and this is uh, essence number nine tuberose. And this is a beautiful green, but at the same time creamy, not too sweet, not too loud, a bit transparent, not cloying and not um, in headache inducing type of tuberose it's a spring type of tuberose to my nose it's not completely tra transparent uh, like uh, it's not innocent believe me however it doesn't have any you know uh, teeth to bite you so it's nice uh, it's quite linear so it has only three notes I think um, it's um, bergamot tuberose and sandalwood uh, or no it's a uh, uh, cinnamon I think but like you can feel some um, woods in the base probably and some um, citruses on the top uh, and some greenness and creaminess of the tuberose itself very nice nice sillage good projection everything is there not too loud again still wearable easy to wear uh, like easy to like I think it's very likable type of fragrance the same like the next one also from the same line and this is a gardenia and gardenia here it's essence number two gardenia and gardenia is also quite a linear uh, but very beautiful like also creamy green um, it's like not too sweet refreshing and spring type of gardenia and together these fragrances are just they, you know they created for each other I think because this has only three notes it's quite a simple one and this one and together they just you know a perfect perfect um, couple so if you like the white flowers I highly recommend you to try to find this two and mix them together the layer them together they create a beautiful beautiful concoction and mixture amazing um, the next fragrance is from Narciso Rodriguez and this is Narciso uh, in EDP this is the uh, the parfum and this is like a white cube it's all about musk but musk, musk mixed with gardenia and here also gardenia is very cold it's not sweet at all and it's a bit green it's a bit powdery creamy uh, the green is because it is green because it has some vetiver on the base it has some cedar wood it's a very beautiful combination of um, masculine notes and feminine notes it makes it versatile very versatile and wearable 
uh, it's a perfect balance for me. It's very, you know, close to my heart. I love those cubes. I like this one. I love the black cube. So um, people say, the rumors say they are discontinued already. So if you want to try, hurry up. And the last but not least for today is from Amouage and this is Portrayal. It's a beautiful, beautiful jasmine um, mixed with tobacco and vanilla. And the jasmine is not a simple jasmine. I would say this is an endolic type of jasmine, very concentrated very potent, loud, and it's it's biting type of jasmine. It can bite you easily. Um, it's not a friendly type of uh, jasmine. And the whole fragrance is quite controversial. Like when you look at the notes, like jasmine, tobacco leaf, and um, vanilla, you can imagine that this is quite a pleasant and easy to wear and to understand type of fragrance, but it is not. You need to find an approach it's not an easy to approach a fragrance it's not easy approachable fragrance you need to uh, be prepared for it you need to feel it you need to be with it and you need it needs to grow in you and when it does you fall in love forever beautiful beautiful creation of um, Christopher Chong uh, when he was an art director of Mm, uh, Amouage, he's not anymore unfortunately. However, this is a typical his type of fragrance, quite controversial, um, complex, but very interesting and it stands out. It definitely does. So if you want to stand out, if you want um, to make a statement, if you want to be noticeable, if you want people to um, see your power, uh, I would say this is the one. The tobacco leaf here, is very beautiful mixed with the indolic uh, aspect of the jasmine mixed with the a bit of uh, vanilla underneath so i think it's very beautiful some people say this is not complex enough um, like they expected something more from christopher jong uh, this is i think his last uh, creation i mean uh, not his uh, however when he was the art director that was the last one however i think it is quite complex just because of the Dolic aspect of jasmine and unusual to my nose to my taste at least unusual smell of the tobacco here mixed with just a tiny bit of vanilla i think uh, it doesn't smell like anything else that i used to smell before like to me this is quite unique and the bottle is just gorgeous this is not a safe blind buy definitely you need to try this fragrance because all the creations of Christopher Chong um, are quite controversial and you definitely need to try them before you buy, buy them. So this is all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to put a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel. Don't forget to press that notification bell to be notified next time. And I also invite you to visit my Instagram page. Sometimes I post there an interesting picture. So if you're interested and curious, have a look. And thank you again for watching me and I wish you a great and pleasant weekend and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.